Hello, Rush back here again. Um, I'm getting several messages throughout the last few months, all asking me about sniping and sniping montages in general. I feel I'm not really qualified to talk about this because I'm a gameplay commentator, so I thought I'll need to enlist the help of a pro in the uh, in the montage world. So here he is. All right, guys. Um, I'm Scooby Drift. Uh, most you know, me, most of you know me. Uh, I can't even talk. Most of you know who I am, but um. Yeah, I make uh, COD4 videos, ma mainly montages, and put them up on YouTube like Rush. Cool, cool. So on your, uh, in terms of YouTube, what, what, what do you post on your channel? Uh, are, you, are you working on any projects or anything at the minute? Um, I am, yeah. I've been posting, last couple of videos I posted were Modern Warfare 2 trailers and montages, but I'm getting a bit annoyed with that game, so I don't expect anything out on that. Um, on COD4, I'm doing a non-sniper lobby dual charge with ZJWD. Yeah, I've seen the stuff. Like a really underrated player, so um, that's definitely one to look out for. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, he, he seems like a really great player, and I know, you know, props to you for uh, doing a dual, dual title with someone who's not very known. So that's pretty good on your part. I like yeah. that. Right, so uh, you're in Drift. Who is that then? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Drift, probably the most known um, sniping team or most known COD team associated with YouTube or anything like that and basically we're just a group of friends who um, have known each other for a long time uh, through Xbox and YouTube and um, that's how basically me and a couple of others got in we just knew Smoking Carbon uh, for well nearly two three years well, so, well, so we're Smoking Carbon the leaders of it right? Um, well I think Smokey started off on like Forza or something right with a couple of friends he knows in real life and um, then obviously yeah Drift started on uh, racing games and then we sort of contributed. That makes uh, sense, yeah. <laughs> right, so um, you, you, so is Drift a competitive game, clan, or is it just like a group of friends? Um, yeah, this is the thing we got to get a lot of messages about as well, like one v ones and stuff. Um, this is a good opportunity for me to say, like, we're not a competitive clan. We just play for fun. Um, hence why we make montages and videos for like your guys' enjoyment. So um, if you're listening, no, we don't do one v ones. And um, I think we've played Optic once before, and uh, yeah, we lost, but <laughs> lost domination by uh, three or four points, and then Optic are pretty beast to be fair. By about five or six kills, so it's not a lot in it. But yeah, as you say, we don't take uh, like YouTube or anything too seriously. So yeah, that's fair enough, man. All right, okay. Um, so in terms of your sniper setup, if you want to uh, jump on a game and get like a quad headshot across the map, what what, what sort of sniper setup are you going to be rolling with? Um, I think for Modern Warfare 2, I would have um, Intervention, Sleight of Hand, Stop and Power, and uh, what's it, Steady Aim. And uh, if you want to roll with a Barrett, which is, I think it's fairly easy to use, but Hit Markers are a pain on that game. I'd have um, yeah, Sleight of Hand, Stop and Power, and Ninja, as you don't really need to no scope with the Barrett, unless it's point blank and you're just going to like... The spray, spray yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say, Modern Warfare 2 is incredibly annoying with the hit markers. I, I don't snipe often, but um, I, I can guarantee that you guys making montages, getting a lot of hit markers, must be incredibly annoying, right? Uh, yeah, it's, oh, it's hard to explain. It's so ridiculous. Like They make every gun on the game really overpowered, except the snipers, which... Exactly, it's ridiculous. ...could kill you in one shot, but... Could you... Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, um... In terms of sensitivity, what are you using? Uh, Modern Warfare 2 ranges from anywhere between 5 and 10. 5 being if I want to um, just try hard, like get the UMP or M16 out. And um, 10 if I just want to like hit some stuff, hit some trick shots, hit some combos. And for COD 4, again, ranges from probably about 6 to 10. 6 being try hard mode, and 10 being uh, quick scope animal kind of mode. Right, so you, so your range is between five and ten. I think my range is between three and five. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a uh, try hard like game battle sort of stuff. I have it on three, and when I'm sniping, I have it on a solid five. Oh yeah, it's five. Well, yeah, as long as you can like, I think it's just personal preference really. As long as you yeah, can control it and then you can play well with it. Exactly. Doesn't really matter too much. Sensitivity is all down to personal preference. It, you don't have to listen to anyone else. Just play, play what you're comfortable on, practically, innit? Yep. Right, so uh, what are you recording with, then? 
Um, I am recording with my lovely old school Dazzle DBC oh, yes. 170, which uh, I think pretty much everyone starts out with. Yeah, everyone. I just don't have the money or anything to get a uh, PVR. I've no. got a lot of stuff to save up for, so um, I'm sorry if you like don't like my quality or anything, but uh, get over it, basically. Well, I think pretty much everyone started out with the... Uh the dazzle so i really wouldn't worry about it and yeah they, like pretty much everyone was hawk of pbr and there's two things really money is a serious issue because it costs like what 200 quid nearly and it's uh at the yeah. minute at the minute i've nearly got the money for it but uh it's just availability because it's like out of stock everywhere so that's another thing for me it's, it's a bit it's a bit yeah, nice I, I have the money for it as well but then i just i need driving lessons car exactly priorities isn't it things like that yeah absolutely so um when you're watching YouTube, who would you like to watch then? Um, well, back in the days which got me into sniping after, say, Six Sins was uh, my main like inspiration, if you like, for starting sniping. Uh, just watching his montage, just like the Punisher and Bad Boys Jultage, and his gameplay is just insane. Yeah. But then I think if you look to, like, uh, the modern times of YouTube, um, <clears throat> a good friend of mine, Dan Blackouts, um, I think everyone knows who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just an insanely good player. I mean, regardless um, if some of his montages were ever in Sniper Lobbies, it still takes, like... I'm not. Everyone says Sniper Lobbies is set up, but if you watch his Genocide V2 montage, nothing's set up, and the gameplay is incredible. I think that's got to be my favourite video to watch. Yeah, uh, Black House is definitely one, definitely probably my favourite actual sniper because he, he, he's just his quick scoping is just unreal. He has, seems to have a hundred percent accuracy on that thing. Yeah, he, he's just he's just crazy. Well, say so, uh, I was saying that Genocide V2 is your favourite montage. Um, at the moment, yeah, only unless someone brings out a really good old school montage. But I think the trouble is now, if anyone brings out a sniper montage, then it's just going to get frowned, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. You're going to get hated. Yeah, Genocide V2 is the montage for me. What 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 style of montage do you like to like then? Like to watch, sorry. Um, well, obviously like uh, not growing up. But on YouTube, starting off and watching simple blackouts. They obviously do a lot of quick scope and combos. So for me, in a montage, I just look for good combos and plus twenty, plus twenty-five. Um, I think that comes down to personal preference as well. It's just like what exactly, you yeah. So obviously, not every montage is. Um, but for everyone, you have your own like kind of taste of what you like to see. Yeah, well, good, because well, with me, I, I, when I watch montages that are just clips, I, I just they get a bit samey because they're, they're all everyone's getting triples and that continuously now. So for me, yeah. I, I'm more the ed editing side. That's why I'm liking uh, frag movies and like these PC PC montages because I think some of the uh, some of the ed editing they're doing on there is just absolutely incredible. I know, yeah, frag edits for the PC. exactly. I think my favorite one on top notch is um. Lax by RNA or something that's got some crazy editing in it. Yeah, which is always a joy to watch. Some crazy stuff. So, um, how long does it take you to record like a, like a decent montage, including your editing? Um, well, obviously, I think everyone knows that I can't edit for shit, really. <laughs> I, I always try to find a really good editor, which yeah. um, I've done in the past, but you always get editors that let you down which um, I think is partly my fault because I'm always um, just keep messaging them like oh how long is it going to take and all this because I'm, I'm quite impatient yeah um, <laughs> wise, uh, if it was a sniper lobby montage which I wouldn't make now but if I was recording sniper lobbies for about an 8-9 minute montage probably take me about 2 or 3 days of gameplay because I, I actually tend to hit quite a lot in sniper lobbies like combos and things yeah yeah, yeah. But um, my dual charge with JWD, I'll probably spend probably about a month or two recording. But That's in that period, I won't be on, like, I'm not on as much now, but um, in non snipe lobbies, you don't obviously hit as much as what you do, but exactly. when you actually get a good clip, you think, oh, yeah, that's not going to get hated on. <laughs> All right. So, quite good, so. So, um, what, what, so when you're recording, what would you deem a montage-worthy clip? Um, well, as I said earlier, like, I always like, like watching combos and things, so uh, for me, a good montage clip would be, um, well, yeah, a good combo or a plus 20 or something in a non snipe lobby or um, just a good quick scope streak for me. Yeah. But obviously, other people were into like 720s and spin shots and all that. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, just personal preference, really.
Yeah, exactly. Um, so, for all those guys who are messing me, and I'm sure you, asking about montages, um, yeah. do you have any tips for these people on how to make one or anything like that? Um, basically, just find yourself a good editor and make sure you've got a good standard of clips to edit to. Nothing like point blank no scopes. Just um, good standard of Capture clips. card. Capture card's always a good one. Yeah. You... Card. yeah. Nothing like recording with a camera up to your TV. <laughs> right, we have 30 seconds, so... Uh, thanks to uh, Smokey Drift for this gameplay. I believe it's 58 and 5 with the Barrett, which is uh, sick. Cheers, buddy. Um, thanks for Scuba Drift for uh, helping me out here. Um, subscribe to him, subscribe to me, subscribe to Smokey, and I'll leave uh, Scooby to uh, wrap it up. Yep, cheers, guys, for listening, and um, I'll upload this on my channel as well, so I'll leave Rush's link so you guys can come check out some of his commentaries. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.